Good day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we look today at St. Luke chapter 6, verse 27 through verse 31, Jesus says to us in verse 27 that we should love our enemies. So we see the secret weapon of the Christian is love. He says, love our enemies and do good to those that hate us. St. Luke chapter 6 verse 27. But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies, do good to them that hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you, and unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other, and him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also, give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that ask, sorry, and of him that take it away, thy goods, ask them not again. And as he would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. So, the secret weapon, as we say, the Lord Jesus uh, unveiled to his disciples the secret weapon from the arsenal of God, the weapon of love. This will be the love that is most effective, the weapon that is most effective in evangelizing the world. So when he speaks of love, he is not referring to the human emotions. We hear it all over time and time again. I love you. And so uh, this emotion is being abused. But he is not talking about such abuse or that which we call love. It is the supernatural love that only those who are born again can know it or display it because it is of God. God is love and when we know God we learn to love. It is utterly impossible for anyone who does not have the indwelling Holy Spirit to really show the kind of love that God is talking about. An evil person may love their own children, but this is not love as Jesus intended. The one is human affection, the other is divine love. So the first requires only physical love, like an evil person loving his own child. But the second, the love that God is talking about, requires divine love. So the first love, human love, is largely a matter of the emotions. The second is largely a matter of the will. Anyone can love his friend. But it takes a supernatural power for one to love one's enemies. And that is the love, the agape love of the New Testament that he is talking about. It means to do good to those who eat us and to bless those who curse us and to pray for those who are, would say, nasty to us and he says we always have to turn the other cheek 
when evil people does things to us he says if they ask of you for your coat give them your cloak also jesus commanded his followers to love their enemies he understood that believers would come in direct contact with people who wanted to oppress them and to make our lives miserable he also understand that those same persecutors are souls trapped by sin in need of deliverance in need of a savior so the world can what usually conquer the person who fights back but he doesn't want us to fight back as the world does somebody would say tit for tat you eat me i eat you you curse me i curse you he says no that won't conquer the world by us fighting back the world is used to jungle warfare jungle justice and to principles of retaliation but the world does not know how to deal with uh, a person who repays every wrong with kindness and this is what jesus says that we ought to do he says when one is robbed of one's overcoat love offers the suit coat as well it never turns away from any genuine case of need because love would see that need and supply it when unjustly deprives of one's preferred property as the Bible tells us one does not ask that it be returned again even though the golden rule is to treat others the same way with kindness and consideration as we would like to receive unsafe men and women can love those who love them this is natural it's a natural behavior of the human being and so common that it makes no impact on the world of unsaved men and women. What Jesus says, to make an impact, we have to show love. So as Christ's representative, we are responsible for the way that we respond, even when we are treated unfairly, unjustly, even when we are treated with disrespect he says let us not use all that will happen to us as a reason not to love but love so that we will not be criticized for not showing kindness and goodness and the love that god would have showed so let us obey God to do good and to show love. It takes the grace of God in us and the love of God in us to do this. And the Bible says, by so doing, we show unbelievers the way to eternal life. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. It is free. Please comment, like, and share, and continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.